Oh, hey there. On today's episode, if you couldn't tell, which you probably can't, I'm in Toronto. Toronto. I hope you can hear me. It's super windy up here. Relax. I'm actually out here today helping my buddy Toby Films. He's uh, shooting a music video with an artist from out here in Toronto, so it's cold. <laughs> I'm more or less just out here helping him shoot some uh, B-roll footage and get some behind the scenes pictures and stuff. We're shooting in a couple different scenes, so. But yeah, then of course we'll open some cards at one point or another. There's a building right there that looks suspiciously like an undercover UFO. Check it out. But yeah. I think that means it's time to uh, open some cards. Been tons of fun so far. There's a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys, but I'll keep it relatively short and sweet today. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any cards with me to the music video shoot. Might have been weird. Maybe not, who knows? Anyways, been able to take a lot of awesome pictures so far, so hope you guys enjoy some of this footage and uh, come with me on my adventure to Toronto today. Toronto, Toronto, however you want to say it. All right, let's keep this adventure going. Well, hello again. We just uh, find a spot for this. Yeah, that works. Cool. So yeah, hopefully you guys thought that was pretty cool. Gave you a little bit of insight into some of the stuff I do sometimes. Honestly, there was so much more footage of the city and of the music video that I wanted to show you guys, but trying to keep a little bit more short and sweet. Back in my home city now. Had to stop at Tim Hortons, of course. Oh yeah, fresh coffee. Make sure you check out the pictures on Instagram. Person right beside me is just staring at me. It's kind of weird. Anyways, back to my usual nerdy and nostalgic ongoings. While I was in Toronto, I was browsing my local uh, buy, sell, trade groups, and I managed to stumble across this sweet little lot right here. Check it out. So yeah, now being the nostalgic nerd that I am, seeing that lot for 100 bucks got me uh, super excited. So I hopped on it right away. I messaged him and said I'd be out there as quickly as I possibly can. So the gentleman selling it seems super nice. So yeah, here I am. So yeah, now we're gonna see if we can uh, turn $100 Canadian. Long live the queen. Oopsies. Ran out of space on the SD card. Total amateur hour. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, turn this into a video game bundle. Woo! And then of course we'll uh, open some cards like I promised because, well, you know, sometimes you gotta do that when you have a Pokemon related channel. Am I right? Plus, I'm uh, trying to keep these episodes a little shorter and sweeter nowadays. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that Toronto footage. I'm going to be back there relatively soon uh, to shoot some more uh, music video related stuff. And if you guys want, let me know and I'll give you a little bit more uh, detailed tour of the city there. So yeah. Anyways, let's go turn this into a nostalgic video game bundle. Shall we? Short and sweet episodes, Trainer Trey. Short and sweet. All right, let's do this. Boom shakalaka. Alrighty then. So that went over pretty friggin well. There was an upside and downside to this bundle that I purchased here. We'll start with the bad news first. Now as epic and old school as this original Game Boy is right here, it is unfortunately missing the plastic cover for the screen right here. Something I can definitely get replaced and stuff, but it will cost a couple bucks to do so. And it's also missing the back of it, but it is what it is. Again, something else that can likely get replaced. I might actually even have one kicking around somewhere. So yeah. Now the other downside, which technically isn't really a downside, is that N64 system did not unfortunately come with any of the authentic N64 controllers, but instead came with some of these SuperPad 64 controllers, which are still pretty cool, but it is what it is. The N64 system was actually also missing the auxiliary cords, but again, something else that I can likely have replaced relatively easily, just gotta purchase them. So yeah. Now the upside to this is the guy that I purchased it from was a total friggin' gentleman and because of all that stuff that I just mentioned there, he actually gave me this entire bundle right here for 75 bucks, Canadian of course. He also let me know that he has a bunch of other Nintendo 64 games or potentially Super Nintendo games somewhere in his house, he did have a rather large house, that he just moved into and he said as soon as he finds all of it, he's definitely gonna contact me and give it to me at no cost. Which is absolutely awesome, there are some epic people out there. I let him know that some of this stuff was worth money, uh, I was straight up and straightforward and honest with him and he said it's no big deal at all. He said seemed uh, pretty well off, so, you know, one man's junk is another trainer trays treasures. So yeah, all in all, overall, a totally good haul for 75 bucks. We got that Game Boy, we got the Nintendo 64 system. For Super Nintendo, I've got Beavis and Butthead, which was just a crazy game back in the day. And we also have, oh, shuck-foo. 
definitely another uh, old school game. Not one of my personal favorites, but yeah. For N64, we got Cyber Tiger. Oh yeah. We also got California Speed, which is just another whatever title. And dun dun dun. dun. Oh yeah, a super minty, super crispy copy of GoldenEye 007 for N64. I cannot tell you how many hours I spent playing this game when I was growing up. I was seriously so good at this game back in the day, people hated me for it, and now I probably couldn't even play it if I tried. But I'm still gonna try. Super stoked about that one. And of course, for Game Boy, we've got a copy of Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly, which was a crazy game back in the day. We've also got Super Mario Land 2. Oh yeah. F1 Race, which I seriously know absolutely nothing about, so yeah. And dun 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 last but certainly not least a an extremely awesome mint condition copy of pokemon blue i love exploring old save files on games like this it's just so throwback so this and golden eye alone were definitely worth the uh, 75 bucks in my poke opinion a little bit of glitter on there maybe anyways now this is nothing super crazy or rare or special by any means whatsoever but does not take away from the fact about how cool it is we've got an inbox original super pad controller for the snes with a barcode still on and everything pretty friggin sweet if i do say and we'll just crack it open real quick oh yeah and it's in its bag and still in crispy clean condition it actually doesn't even look like it was ever even used so definitely stoked and of course we got the nintendo 64 system itself which doesn't entirely fit on this area all in all pretty friggin awesome deal for 75 bucks if i do say so myself definitely excited to see what the other games that he has are i'm hoping for a copy of smash bros or something like that but let's not get too greedy now maybe pokemon stadium 2 i don't know anyways as promised i've got some pokemon cards two packs of lost thunder one pack of ultra prism and yes you are reading that right it does say 4.99 for that pack of cards price of ultra prism at least around here is definitely going up just a little bit so yeah that's weird trainer tray this pack looks like it's already been opened uh that's because it totally has guys and pack code for my poke peeps as usual there it is there it isn't. Seriously though, while I was waiting for Buddy, I was getting impatient, so I uh, cracked one of the packs that I picked up, and uh, of course I pulled this off camera, so you know, that's how it goes for Trainer Trey. Nonetheless, got some uh, fitting sleeves for today's episode. Still gonna count this one and uh, put it in the back here. I don't care what anyone says, it counts. Anyways, onto these two right here. Cracked into this single soul pack of Lost Thunder. I seriously have not opened nearly as much of this set as I should, especially for it being such a massive set, but you know, Things have come up and Trainer Trey has had things to do as I will discuss in the next episode or video or whatever it may be. Anyways, what do we got here? We've got an out of focus deli bird and in focus deli bird and we've got bay leaf. Oh, that's an awesome art. Suda woodoo, what? Wormpole, are these still in focus? Yeah, they are. Litwick, Combi, Marini, Lavatar, Reverse Hollow Meowth, Alolan Meowth, I should spec, Alolan Meowth, I should specify and Dun da da da! Just a regular rare Grand Bull. Alrighty then, and some uh, fighting energy. Okay. I'm friggin' telling you, I got better luck off camera than I do on camera. No joke. Move on to this ridiculously priced $4.99 plus tax pack of Ultra Prism. Oh yeah. Actually, before we open this. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna crack this today, but uh, definitely pretty stoked about the recent release of these new tins. More to come on that. Seriously, I'm really hoping that there's something spicy in this because. Five bucks plus tax? Come on now. Oh, I almost thought it was gonna expose what color pack code that was, and I would have been slightly upset. Can we get some gold, man? Come on, Arceus. Dear Arceus. All right, Poke Peeps. Pray to the Poke Gods for me that I, uh, I pull something spicy out of here. Come on, pass me in. Hippopotus, Reverse Hollow, Fan, Rotom, and Dun Da Da Da. Oh, a bunch of abominous snow. Alrighty then. And wouldn't you know, some more uh, fighting energy. It's kind of what I want to do to these packs. Let's fight them! Alrighty then. Excuse me. Goodness. I think that about sums it up for today's mixed media mash together episode. I had a ton of fun in Toronto. I'm going to be back there again soon, like I said. So if you guys want to see some more footage and get a better tour of the city, let me know in the comments below. Definitely soak with this uh, Verizian Polo. It would have been much better, obviously, to pull it on camera. So make sure you guys stick around and check out the next episode where I crack this bad boy open. And most importantly, definitely super stoked with today's uh, video game pickups. Always out there hunting for retro goodies and uh, always out there hunting for Pokemon and always out there taking pictures and stuff so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you mega punch or hyper beam that like button down there whatever your poker preference is I forgot to put my trainer tray card in the background this whole time shout out jesse Anyways. as always guys this is trainer tray saying train on game on you guys stay epic stay awesome thank you so much for coming to hang out today guys and until that next episode peace oh yeah fresh coffee